Hello everyone. In this session, I will be covering the configuration of SiteMinder as an identity provider for single sign-on for applications running on Pivotal Cloud Foundry. At a high level, configuration of SSO using SAML 2.0 involves exchanging metadata between the service provider and the identity provider to establish trust. We begin the process by launching the single sign-on service dashboard at p-identity.system domain. Please note that you need to be logged in as an administrator to onboard identity providers. For the single sign-on service plan that you have configured, expand the menu options and select Manage User Stores. Click on Download Service Provider Metadata to download the SAML Service Provider Metadata for the given SSO plan. The metadata varies from plan to plan as the authentication domain is unique. You will notice that the entity ID and the SSO URL are unique per plan. Now navigate to the SiteMinder administrative console and expand the federation options. Expand the entity options and click on import metadata. Importing the metadata creates the remote service provider entity object as seen here. All the information is pre-filled from the SAML service provider metadata XML. Next step is to create the local identity provider entity object. Please make sure that the name ID format selected is email address. Now we are ready to set up a partnership between the identity provider and the remote service provider. As part of the partnership, select the user store for authentication. You may choose to set up the advanced authorization filters to limit the users who are allowed to single sign on. Select the name ID format as email address and the value as the user's email. Set the authentication URL to the authentication scheme of your choice. You may choose to enab enable an advanced authentication scheme as well. The SSO binding needs to be set as HTTP POST. Now we are ready to save the partnership and activate the same. Once the partnership is activated, click on the export metadata to export the SiteMinder identity provider configuration. Navigate back to the single sign-on dashboard and click on new user store to import the SiteMinder identity provider metadata. Choose the upload identity provider metadata from file to upload the metadata just downloaded. Once the create user store option is clicked, the SiteMinder configuration is now ready to be used. This concludes the demonstration for onboarding SiteMinder as an identity provider for single sign-on service on Pivotal Cloud Foundry. Thank you for watching.